All right, since we can't see them, it's easy not to think about them. But the health of our bones is so important to stay on top of. What are you doing that might be bad to the bone? Let's find out. Dr. Pam Taxel's here. She's an endocrinologist from UConn Health. Good morning. Thank you for coming in this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, important topic to talk about uh, because bone problems are not that uncommon, are they? They are fairly common, particularly as men and women age. As the baby boomers are coming of age, I think it's an important uh, health area to consider and to be aware of. We hear the word osteoporosis. What exactly is that? It refers to a condition where bones thin, and when bones thin, they become susceptible to breaking or fracturing. And that's what we're trying to prevent. So we may be eating some foods or drinking some drinks that we don't know are contributing um, to that potential possibility. What, what are some foods that are bad to the bone? Hard to say, but if things are done in excess, such as excess caffeine, many cups per day, too much alcohol, perhaps more than the recommended two drinks per day, that those can be detrimental to the bone. But and what about salt as well? Salt can as well, although we usually don't think of it as having such a significant impact unless you have so much excess in your diet. Right, and it's in so many of our foods, and then yes. if you're adding it, then if you're doing some of these other things, then perhaps you've got a, a bit of a situation you want to want to remedy and change. All right, what about foods that we can eat to help our bones? Many good foods in the dairy, dairy line, milk, yogurt, cheeses, ice cream, frozen yogurt. Oh, ice cream. Ice cream is good. Happily eat that one to help the bones. And it, does, it can be low fat. Low oh, fat yeah, products okay. have good amounts of calcium, which many people are not aware of, or they think that won't work. They will. And if you're someone who can't take milk and dairy products because of lactose intolerance, inability to digest milk products, you can take pills or supplements. There are many of those available over the counter. And things like fish, uh, sa salmon, tuna, herring, uh, that can also help. Um, leafy green vegetables, that's another thing that you can do, right? You can look on the package and see, you know, how much, how much calcium you're getting. Yes, you can. Fish, fatty fish has vitamin D, the other important ingredient to help absorb calcium from what we eat. So we need both. And as I said, if you can't get them, supplements over the counter are available. And there are many of those. Our bones like exercise too, right? We should be doing some exercises? Always, yes. Weight bearing exercise is the most important. And that means the body moving against gravity. It means walking, jogging, stair climbing, Weight dancing. Weight training? Weight training means building bones with resistance. Okay. Separate but also very important. Yoga, Pilates, these are also excellent ways to build bones. And we should also be aware of the medications that we are taking in because some of those um, also have a tendency to deplete our bones. Yes, one of the most important medicines are steroids like prednisone and cortisone and these are very important to treat many medical conditions mm -hmm. and we don't want people to stop those but there are many things we can do to counteract the effect that those may have on our bones. We have many medicines for osteoporosis that can balance those medical uh, or medicines that are so important to like our bones. Like a Boniva kind of thing or something like that? There are things called bisphosphonates. As you mentioned, I don't use brand names, right. but those are only one category and we are gaining newer and newer newer medicines all the time. So I think we have a larger um, pool of medicines to draw upon depending on the person, the situation, and what's most appropriate Important for them. conversation to have with your doctor, right? Really Absolutely. figure out, hey, here's what I'm doing, here's what I'm eating, am I getting what I need? Thanks so much. Great information. Appreciate you coming in, doctor. My pleasure. Thank all you. Right.